What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about the five easiest grinds and slides. So I'm going to be showing these on an element bench with just the legs that come with it. It's a little wobbly. So I actually built this little wooden frame for it and I stuck it up on this ledge just to give it a little more height. I might actually build a frame for it that's a little bit taller so that I could stack under it. So some people might feel comfortable just jumping right into 50-50s if they've got a really solid ollie. But if you're just starting out, I think the easiest grind or slide is gonna be a nose slide. So with the nose slide, you just turn your front shoulders the way you want your board and your body to go. You just lift up, stick the nose on there, shift all your weight to your nose and to your front foot, slide a little bit, then you just turn your shoulders and you fall off. I think this is the easiest grind or slide because you really don't have to even have a good ollie. So after that, the next easiest thing is a board slide. It's the same thing, you're just lifting up your front wheels a little bit more until they go all the way over. So to come off, you're doing the same thing. You're shifting your weight, turning your shoulders, but you have to actually lift your wheels off to come off, unless you're coming to the end of the ledge and you can just turn and slide off. So with a normal ledge, you might have to really wax it because your wheels are actually hitting, but a ledge like this or a rail, it slides pretty easily. So the next easiest is gonna be a 50-50. 50-50s, you actually have to know how to ollie. So you're going to lean your weight over the ledge. And then ollie, and since you're leaning all your weight over the ledge, your board and your body is just gonna kinda of follow and it's gonna come up on the ledge. And then to get off of this one, you're turning your shoulder out again and then you give it a little pop and you know, a little pop and pivot. So a little turn and pop. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just try it a few times and you'll get it. What I would personally do after the 50-50 is a Nolly Smith grind. I know it sounds really hard. It's one of the easiest grinds. All you're doing is just barely popping on your nose and sitting your back truck on there until the heel side reaches and all your weights in the back. You might even end up pulling it up into a 5-0 if it's easier. And then you just kind of pop off just like the 50-50. It sounds really hard, but it's one of the easiest, most secure grinds. It's one of the easiest to get into, especially if you're on something low like this. So after that, I would say a crooked grind is gonna be the next easiest. So a crook, you come at a slight angle, sometimes parallel. Whenever you're comfortable with doing the nose slide, it's kind of similar, but with the crook, you're going to pop a little bit harder and you're gonna come down a little bit harder and so for me, I always end up kind of holding it like this, like I'm doing a nose manual. But really what you want to do is put your weight down on your front foot and just lock in and push through it. So with this trick, this is one of those that's way easier to just hit the last six inches. Just lock in for a second and pop out. For some reason, it's easier to pop out like that than if you like really lock in. At first, sometimes it can be hard to pop out of this. But yeah, it's just a little nolly and then shifting your board around. So after you're comfortable with crooks, front side nose would probably be the next easiest. Either that or just a regular 5-0. If you get really good at those nolly smiths and nolly 5-0s, just ollieing into a regular 5-0 might be easier. With the regular 5-0, you just got all your weight on your back foot. You can touch your tail or you can do the little manual kind. With the 5-0, it's easier to touch your tail and drag your heel, especially with the backside, the backside ones. You can really drag your heel and make it super easy, especially if you're on a ledge. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to do that on a rail. 
So with the nose grind, you're coming pretty even with the bore. You're coming pretty even with the ledge. So you just ollie, just like you're doing a 50-50. But then you land kind of like in a nose manual. The nose manual kind where you're balancing is easier than the all the way push down kind. I feel like all the way pushing your nose down is a little bit harder and more sketchy for me. So I usually balance it. And uh, you can do the last part of the ledge on this, but what might even be easier is to do the first part of the ledge. And then when you can't hold it anymore, just sit it down into a 50-50. So learn to get into nose grinds and sit them into 50-50s. And then over time, you can learn to do the last part of the rail because you have to actually pop out enough that you miss your back wheels and your tail. So you have to be going kind of fast to do a nose grind. So that's why I would say at first, just land in it at the first part of the ledge and set it down into a 50-50 a few times. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with this element bench, maybe putting a few of them in a row so I've got a really long bench so I can learn to do combos where I'm popping out of stuff into different stuff. So I want to definitely mess around with this some more. I'm going to be doing some more in-depth tutorials on different grinds and stuff so stay tuned for that. I definitely just enjoy skating this bench because it slides and grinds so well so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you got something out of it if you like this kind of content go scroll through my videos check out some of my older videos and hit that subscribe button because i've got a lot more videos to come thanks for watching